Okay. All right, I'm back. I think. I think I'm back and I think I'm steady. Wait, no, it's going down. Okay, it's uh, sort of, maybe. Sort of, kind of. Okay, I think we're sort of back. Okay, so fun fact about what happened. I completely forgot that I was still connected to my VPN. <laughs> for, uh, for one of my uh, for one of my jobs, I was um, I was still connected on the VPN, and so it massively throttled me. <laughs> when I was when I was trying to do uh, when I was trying to do stuff, and it was just like, "What are you doing? Stop it!" And so it it was like, no, you're not allowed to do that. You quit it. It it was very upset thing. So yeah. Um, but it, it seems like we're okay now. Hopefully it, it'll be alright. Um, um as I was saying though, we need science in order to do stuff, and um essentially we have added in a whole bunch of new stuff. So, uh, for example, we now have the mine, which is a brand new shtick, um, and it allows you to extract ore, which is a new material, a new material altogether. The, uh, the tapper shack is interesting because this allows you to collect maple syrup and pine resin, which are used in a lot of the new leisure stuff. So the leisure stuff, we've got the observatory. We also have the mud bath so that your beavers can just sort of chill. And it's just, it's very exciting. I don't know what that sparkly looking plank thing is. I legit have no idea. Oh, the bakery does different stuff now. Oh, cool. That's neato. So that makes pine resin. That makes books. Okay, the wood workshop. Okay, so it's treated planks. Got it. Not as good as pressure treated, I'm guessing, but still. All right. Um, so you remember when I mentioned that the forester is the most important thing? This is the forester right here. So as soon as I get 60 science, I'm going to unlock it. Um, ah, shoot, I need to do other stuff first uh, because I need to actually make planks. And so we're going to need more wood, which means that we are also going to need power in the form of a water wheel. So I'm going to do this just like I, um, just like I've done Iron Teeth before, um, and also this particular map before, where I make an enormous, um, what's it called? I just make a, a massive power, um, what's it called? Like a, a massive power grid essentially. I'm going to move my mic a little bit. Incidentally, I, um, I've i changed my setup a little bit here. My microphone is now on a boom arm in partially in preparation for getting the, uh, the mixer that I want. Um, incidentally, if I don't get it as a gift for the holiday season, then I'm planning on getting it for myself regardless because I really, really, really want it. Not only will it help me with my streams and balancing out the audio more correct, more properly, but I also play instruments and sing and all that kind of stuff. I do, I do all of these things poorly, don't get me wrong, but I still do them. And so it'll be fun at least. This <laughs> is... Oh, not torquing. I have to update my badges? What badges? Wait, I, do I have badges? I, well, I, I'm confused. 
I don't know what badges need to be updated. Oh, that is true. Wait, no, I've got, I've, I've got, I thought I had more. Right, yeah, the sub badges. I could have sworn that I had more. Huh. Well, I'll, I'll have to add that to my massive to-do list. I'm sorry. I fail. I actually, I don't know if I have access to it. Honestly, I don't remember. Because I know that there's a, uh, there's a limit for um, how, how much you can have in store and all that kind of stuff. Um, like there's a limit to what you can have. So like right now I, what the, the fudge are you doing little baby? Get to work. Gah. Stupid worthless little baby beavers. At least the meat seeks wasn't delayed 26 hours or 25 hours. Yeah. That is true. It's uh, better than it was. So I guess I'll take it. God, the problem is that these are all really expensive. And I'm going to need my Forester very soon. I really could use storage at this point. So the problem right now is that my beavers are only capable of carrying so much. But, yeah. Oh, the mine is pointless unless you have no access to ruins. So... It's interesting because you can see that, um, like, you've got the you've got the pine trees, and some of them are kind of like sparkalicious, indicating that they've um, that they have the uh, pine resin. So here we got scrap metal. I don't. Does scrap metal get turned into ore somehow? Is that the shtick? Oh, chestnuts. That's a new thing. What else do we have? Chestnut tree, maple syrup, pine resin. So basically birch is the only thing that doesn't give um, a new resource aside from just the pure stuff. Oh yeah, the mine sounds like a a ploy of desperate beavers that is not ideal. No, one of my beavers died. But see, this is why I'm, I tried to get the, um, the breeding pods up and running relatively quickly is because I knew that I would need them for the, uh, for the children. And so this is almost done. So what we need to do is we need to build up a small warehouse and we need to build up an industrial log pile. Both of these will be very helpful because it'll allow all of my beavers to just continue doing what they need to do. Uh, so I have enough science to unlock the forester. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now I basically just need to wait on planks. The problem is that this is currently nothing. So let me go ahead and pause this. So that way, hopefully, they'll be employed over there. Oh, shoot! A drought already? Oh, dang it! I don't have any water! I have no water storage! 
Oh no! My beavers are gonna die! Build them water tanks! Build them! Build them quick! I did not get No Way Home tickets. I am excited to see it though. I um I I I, I don't like hype stuff, but I I am legitimately excited to uh, to see what happens with it. So we'll see. We'll see. I am I'm cautiously optimistic. I'll put it that way. Maple is still the best. Didn't they, like, drastically change how long it takes maple to grow? I thought they changed it to, uh, to something, like, way longer. Yeah, like, it takes 30 days. I mean, so, 2 for 12, so that's, that's the equivalent of 6 days for one log. That's 9 days for one log. So 30 divided by 8. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's almost four days per log, so it's a, it's a little bit better. That's six days per log. So, yeah. You, it, it, it just takes so freaking long to make. That's the problem. But I just went through the math. We know this now. We are all very smart. And by we, I mean me. You haven't seen any of the Holland films? You spent two hours through crashes and errors to score the tickets? Wow. Now, I, I will say that for me personally, the Holland Spider-Man is my personal favorite. That's me, right? My wife is a Maguire gal, right? Um, Garfield for me was forgettable, just kind of meh. Um, I didn't particularly dislike Maguire, but just didn't, you know, wow me. I, I wasn't like, dang, this is awesome. Like, I have to watch this, like right now type of thing. I just, I, I didn't feel that level of you know, desire sort of shtick. Now, I know certainly this could just be me, but, um, but yeah. <laughs> I am not a heretic. Don't lie. I'm just saying, like, there, it, in my personal opinion, just as anybody out there has a personal opinion, in my personal opinion, the Holland Spider-Man films are the best. I think that they capture the campiness of the character the best compared to the others. Again, obviously this is me personally. You all think whatever you wish. That is fine. But for me, that is how I take it. So this is the problem that ends up happening when you um, um, when you don't have a forester ready and active is you there there has to be some way for you to still get raw materials essentially. The nice thing is that I again it I don't 
personally consider it cheating, but it's... I guess being not super... What? Um, not, not super... Not friendly, but... Um, oh my god, I can't... I'm sorry, I can't think right now. Um, not necessarily in the spirit of the game, playing on easy all the time. But, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> you can be wrong. <laughs> so everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Yours just happens to be wrong. And that's okay. Uh, you people. You're all terrible. Excellent. I have my wood storage. I got my forester getting built. And then we will be growing a sea of maple trees. Actually, I might start with birch. So essentially, I'm going to have two options here. I can either plant birch in order to get resources quickly, or I can plant maple and essentially just force myself to wait in order to get the most bang for the buck type of thing. I'm kind of leaning towards doing birch just because I need the uh, raw materials. Half pine, half maple. Normally that's what I do is pine and maple mixed. Because that, that seems to be the better way. Incidentally, I mean, especially now with the update, having um, the, what's called the pine resin and um, the um, other stuff. You know what I'm talking about. The, um, the pine resin and the maple syrup. It makes sense to... Um, to plant those over birch. Now that said, one thing that I'm going to need to start building soon as well is going to be a farm. Because the farmhouse is going to allow me to start growing carrots. Carrots will be very helpful in keeping everybody alive and happy and whatnot. So you prioritize pine. Because pine grows faster. Now, there's a couple of things that I want to do. Um... So I'm going to turn this into like a farming area here. Essentially in this game, the idea is that eventually you get to the point where your entire, is it colony? I don't know. What, what do beavers have? Clade? I don't know. The, your entire beaver population becomes effectively self-sustaining. So you're planting your own trees to get raw materials. You're planting your own food to feed everybody, all that kind of stuff. Um, and that's, that's kind of the end shtick with the whole thing. Is that you're able to finalize being able to do that. But either way. Oh, maple glazed donuts. Oh, yum. Oh, maple bacon donuts. You gotta have the bacon. I mean, it ain't nothing if there ain't no bacon. No, I'm saying. Feel me? 
I'm just saying, that's how it be. So we do have new crops as well. We have the cattail and the uh, spatter dock, which are used in the aquatic farmhouse, which is kind of cool. So it's a nifty little thing. But for the time being, we are going to focus on carrots because carrots will give us solid survivability for a good while. And they will satiate hunger for long enough that we'll be good to go. The other thing that we need as well is going to be a dam. Now, before the dam, though, we will do some housing. Let's see here. 70 over 16 is, I don't know what, it's in three, it's four, it's just under three. Hmm. Mathematically, it would be worth it for me to wait for a large barrack to do my housing. The problem is that I don't I don't have the science. I'm I almost do, but uh, right now I don't have the science, and I'm also running very very low on logs. So we will have to see what we can do. Oh yeah, for sure. I want to get all the different foods. I just want to get the carrots planted first. That's really all it is. Oh, I didn't realize that it does the life expectancy thing. So yeah, I mean, with the with the iron teeth, since they have the breeding pods, it doesn't necessarily matter. Um, that said, we can plant some more crops. We can do some potatoes. Problem is I have to wait for these trees to grow up enough so that they can chop them down so that I can plant my carrots in their place. My pine forest is coming along. So potatoes, honestly, are a little bit more mid-game. Um, I'm still early game, technically. So I'm not super worried about stuff right now. But you can see that this will, that I can use the grill for a bunch of stuff. So I'll go ahead and make a couple of grills. You do potatoes immediately. So I just like doing the carrots quickly simply because um, simply because they grow a little bit faster. And plus uh, you get the basically the three for one. So like you can see, I literally have no food right now. And that's bad. Like my 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 berries are not growing fast enough here. And so that means that I really need to shut down my 
breeding pods because that's going to be eating up a lot of my food, metaphorically and also literally. Ooh, four grilled potatoes. But yeah, you can see all of them have the little, the little bread thing. It just means that they're hungry. And it's because they have no food. But luckily, the carrots are almost done. That is assuming that all of my population doesn't die of starvation first. Which very well could. Part of my problem when it comes to this game is I simply haven't played it enough. Um, I, I've not played it nearly as much as Rev has. And so Rev knows like way more than I do in terms of how the game works and what you can find and when and um, like what to do and when to do it and all that sort of thing. Me, not at all. I... I play like a little bit on and off for fun type of shtick. All right, so see, now we're, we're good to harvest, which is great because we will be able to feed people. Well, beavers, not people. Now, remember when I mentioned that I was going to run out of raw materials very quickly? This is what I was talking about. And so now, essentially, I just have to wait for these, um, these pine trees to grow so that I will be able to... Uh, so that I'll be able to harvest them for wood. But the good news is that I've got plenty of water now. I've got my food source coming up and doing its thing. Um, the issue is that I will not be able to finish my grills because I don't have enough logs. Nor can I finish my dam either. And so I literally just kind of had to sit here and wait for all of the um, all of the pine trees to grow. And just hope beyond hope that it happens quickly. Well, I mean, I know it takes like nine days or whatever. The issue that I'm gonna run into here is that with the grill, um, I won't have enough for it for quite a while. Um, what I will do is this though. I'll go ahead and prioritize one of the grills at least. I do want the, the dam to finish up because I really need, um, I need to make sure that I keep my water whenever the, um, whenever the drought comes. But incidentally, check out this water effect. Isn't that just amazing? Like seriously, you don't see this in mini games, especially not in a game like this. I mean, there are triple A games that have absolutely garbage water physics compared to this. Focus on the dams, you think? I mean, again, it doesn't matter because I, I literally have zero logs. So I can't do anything about it. I just, I have to wait for these trees to finish. I don't think I can reach those, unfortunately. I can. So here we can cut some of these. So that'll be helpful at least.
Ah, shoot. Stupid thing. I gotta, I gotta cut a path through my, um, uh, through my garden here. It's so one thing I really, really dislike about this game. I, I constantly forget to make sure that I have the, um, what's it called going? The, um, the paths going where they need to go. Part of the thing also is that having this dam completed means that I will be able to, um, I'll be able to cross over the river and get those birch trees as well. I don't think I'll be able to finish it though. Like, I don't think I can finish both of these. Yeah, no. Oh, paths used to require builders? That sucks. Like, ever since I've been playing, they've never required that. So I was actually wondering about that. It's the same thing like with the districts. I find it so odd that um, that like just building a new town center or the equivalent there too literally costs nothing. Very strange. Oh man, my glutes thing isn't working. I'm going to blame the fact that my stream went all kinds of goofy. All right, here we go. Boosh! <sighs> 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 I know I said it already, but I'll say it again as well. I hope that everybody had a good vacation for those of you who vacationed. I hope everybody was safe. Because that is without a doubt the most important thing. Shoot. Not gonna be able to finish. Dang it. All right, so the fact that at least some of these trees are going to be finished means that I just might get enough logs to finish up the dams before the drought comes. And I really hope that I do. I, I'm, I'm cutting it really close here, though. And keep in mind, I'm playing on easy. <laughs> this, is, this is like, you know, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have never played an RTS before. Difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> and pine gives what what is it two two logs okay all right so we should be good it's like i said we're we're cutting it really close here but we should be able to make it
Oh, that's nice. Yay for less stress. That's great to hear. Incidentally, I'm building up this uh, second farmhouse so that I can basically have one for harvesting and one for planting. Because what's happening now is they're focused entirely on grabbing all the stuff that had grown when I could have basically had one group doing planting and one group doing um, gathering. And it would have been much more efficient. Who doesn't want booster jets? I, I don't think that's how it works, Rev. I could be mistaken. Don't get me wrong. Could be wrong. Oof, barely made it. These are chestnuts. Okay, so see, you gather berries and chestnuts there. Now, how do you gather... There we go. Okay, so the tapper shack gets you the pine resin. But, so this means that effectively, potentially, you could be, like, combating yourself by having, um, what's it called? By, by having some of your beavers working to, um, um, by having some of your beavers working to do, um, oh my god, I'm sorry, I can't think. Um, some of your beavers working to do, like, tapping or collecting, and others working to strictly gather the resources. But that's what I mean, the sap and, and syrup. Well, and that's, and that's what I mean, is like you can set up an area not to cut it, but that's the thing is that you would have to do that. You would have to have separate things. Oh, I have to select a recipe. How do I select a recipe? Uh, grilled potatoes, grilled chestnuts. Well, um, the only thing that we can make is grilled potatoes. So I guess we're going with grilled potatoes. I like how it takes 0.1 log. <laughs> because you have to have the fire going for the grill. <laughs> That's pretty cute. I like it. All right, I'm going to turn at least a a few of my breeders back on. Hmm. All right, so now they prioritize harvesting. You all will prioritize planting. And incidentally, we will go ahead and do this. And we will have a nice little bitty wheat field over here. Boy, these little dudes plant the wheat really fast. What do you mean it's not connected by any paths? There. I told you, this game is really finicky when it comes to connecting stuff. Very annoying. I, I know that there's nothing to do. That's fine. Don't worry about it. It's, it's okay. Actually, I think that's new, having that little symbol with the, the whole nothing to do in range. Now, 
no path, no go forward. Oh, these stupid beavers and their unions. It's ridiculous, I tell you. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, it has. Oh, okay. I must have just been so efficient with all of my other game playing that it, you know, I didn't have to worry about it and stuff. It's, it's probably what it was. So see, now we're being much more efficient because we are both gathering and replanting at the same time. And it's interesting because I still find the forester really weird that it only employs a single beaver. Now, granted, yes, the whole shtick with it is that, I mean, once you have the forest up and going, then you need a lot less kind of maintenance, I guess. But at the same time, you, you don't need zero maintenance. And like, look, I, I still have like all my maple trees left that need to be. And incidentally, it looks like none of these things have pine resin on them. Oh, okay, it's generating. That's why. I'm braining you guys. Oh, it's time to go. Yeah, the, these guys can basically go away. I'll go find something else to do. Here we'll do some squats. Woo! Hmm. Well, you may not need more than one tapper, but the thing is that you'll, um, you'll still have use for all of the resin and stuff. And so you'll need a bunch of trees, which to tap. All right, so I'll just build this out real quick and then I'm going to head out because it is that time for me. So new game. Well, new, I mean, new new game as far as the stream is concerned. This is a, a new game. Um, but um, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to see any of the really new stuff. What, what is that? No, my carrot died. Wait, how did it die? Poor carrot. Um. Twelve of each. Okay. Yeah, and that's what I was wondering is just how many of each to to get. Okay, so I've got the uh, I've got the sawmill running here or the other sawmill running. Um, but that said, I am going to head out. I'm going to get rolling. You all take care of yourselves. Have a good week. Hope that it's fun. Hope that it's productive. Um, I'll be back on Saturday. Um, so this past Saturday, I played, um, I played some Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. And I have to say, it was really fun. It was a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Um, I'm probably going to play it again, but honestly, I'm not sure. If you guys want to see something else, just let me know. Um, but for the time being, I will say bye-bye to everybody. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. 
Um, it's, uh, if you haven't seen or read about Timberborn, I highly recommend you do just read about it at least because it's really like a very chill, nice, calming game. Although I play it at like max speed because I don't want to wait for stuff to happen. I need my beavers to move. All right, but you all take care of yourselves. Thank you so much again for the uh, for the sub bomb and the hype train. But I do apologize about my stupid VPN being stupid. Um, so bye bye everybody. Take care, be well, and hopefully we'll see you on Saturday.